Hey guys, Glockster42. I hope this finds everyone well. Well, another completed diorama. I've had this one on the go for quite some time. In fact, uh, looking over, I dated the bottom of this uh, base when I started on it. I started this thing in 2001. Yeah, 16 years to build one diorama. At that time, I had the, uh, the Panther turret and the base and all the groundwork ready to go, but I never really painted it or finished it or really thought how I was going to finish it up. And uh, I just thought, you know, the other day, I just I found it downstairs in a box, and I thought, yeah, time to get it done. So what we've got here is Dragon's um, ISU-125. It's an old Dragon kit. I built this probably back around, I'm thinking, 2000. The figures are Tamiya with, a with Horganet resin heads. The Panther turret is actually from Atelieri, an old Atelieri kit, and I've added some Zimmerit to it and weathered the hell of it. Basically what it is is I put it in as a one of the uh, strategic uh, defenses that the Germans built uh, throughout Berlin and in the fortress cities. So what we've got is a uh, the 125 uh, just going down some steps through a park and I've articulated the suspension. It's a model cast and tracks. Now I may have overdone it. I'm not sure if a real 125 could actually articulate that much, but hey, it looks kind of cool having all those uh, all those suspension arms uh, pushing back and working up. It's uh, painted up in Vallejo colors and Tamiya, and uh, yeah, Vallejo and Tamiya. We've thrown in some birch leaves for a little bit of uh, litter in the ground. We've used various pastels and pigments throughout the base. Uh, this uh, cobblestone is actually hand carved uh, plaster. This was all hand poured. I poured all this and uh, and uh, scribed it out. The um, figure here I believe is a dragon figure, the wounded German. And uh, let's just give her a turn. So you can see from the back we've added some leaves and some paint and some uh, groundwork and just tried to make this look a little bit like it's uh, the 152 is uh, hustling around the back end and along the side of this tree here we've got a MP44 zoom in a bit there a little uh, German machine gun nest that was abandoned as the uh, as the soves uh, moved through those are all bits of pieces of dragon and Tamiya and as you can see back here I kind of over articulated that suspension. I, I realize that now but uh, you know when I was building I wasn't exactly sure how much a, uh, how much they could articulate so I just went with it. Kind of more of an artistic dramatic look for it anyway. Now the tree came from uh, some shrubberies in a park here. Let me just uh, slowly zoom my way up here if you can see. That's part of the shrubberies. I just wanted to make it look like a fairly war-torn specimen somewhere in Berlin in April, May of 1945. The um, static grass is a various mix of uh, burnt green and uh, some other stuff. And then the uh, little splotches are there from uh, Army Painter. I'm actually fairly happy with the way this turned out considering how long it's been sitting on my bench um, to be done. I did some chips in the Zimmerit and then just painted it the you know the kind of the gray color from behind the Zimmerit and we did some really heavy chips around the uh, cupola. We added uh, you know MP44 and a and a Panzer Faust is a Panzer Faust yeah Panzer Pan <coughs> uh, the Panzer Faust there and uh, kept it fairly I wouldn't say subtle but uh, not overly weathered. Zoom in on those, uh, yeah. Zoom in on those figures. These figures were, come on, focus, focus. No, not gonna focus. Not gonna focus. You gonna focus there? There we go. And I kind of painted it, um, you know, kind of pale in the foreheads. You know, it's where the hats have been a little bit heavier, uh, heavier weathering on the um, on the rest of their faces. And uh, yeah, I just basically did the. Uh, the tank is a mixture of uh, washes, pin washes, and uh, and uh, 
pastel weathering pigments. And I wish I could remember what that fellow was from. He's a he's a nice he's a good figure. I painted him up quite a few years ago as well. This is just gonna suck, guys. Everyone's gonna get motion sickness watching this stupid video. Come on, no, no, focus, focus, focus. Man, I'm just not having luck here focusing. Hey, come on, come on, there we go. Facial recognition's working now. There he is. Anyway, anyway, there you have it, guys. Um, Dragon's ISU 152 somewhere in Berlin, April of 1945. A little diorama I put together. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all my sub subscribers and the guys who take time to post and write. And take care, guys. Later.